Welcome back everybody to another food review here on Food Central TV and today we are at Burger King to try out the Impossible Whopper which was released nationwide today. I believe when they first released it back in April it was only at a select few locations maybe like 10 or so but I thought it was pretty awesome they said they were going to release it nationwide for everybody to try it. I never tried the Impossible brand I tried the Beyond Meat brand. Uh, which was okay. It didn't really taste like beef all that much. So hopefully this tastes a whole lot better But they did make one oopsie one big oopsie with this so the impossible burger is supposed to be vegan But they cook the patty on the same broiler as the chicken and The beef so that's a big slap in the face for vegans I wanted to try this that you're not gonna try it because it's cooked in the same place where they have the meat which is you know what they're avoiding <laughs> we got our receipt here uh it was nine dollars and 44 cents with the combo meal i wanted onion rings like always but they gave me french fries i don't want to go back inside so here you go give you a close-up see what this looks like and it comes dressed just like a normal a normal whopper we got lettuce tomato pickles onions and i think a little bit of ketchup and we have our bun right there so hopefully this is pretty good but the most important question is does the patty taste like meat and i heard it was supposed to be i've sure i've heard people say that it was kind of dry but and it's tiny but it don't don't look too bad got that flame grill flavor i'd say it's pretty close to the dang pretty dang close to the real thing so let's see how the impossible whopper taste at Burger King. Here we go. I've eaten a decent amount of Whoppers, one of my favorite fast food burgers. And I'd say this is pretty close to the real deal. It's pretty good. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that because I really like Burger King. I think it they did a pretty good job at making it taste almost like a real Whopper. Not exactly like it, but really, really close. Definitely gonna have a few more bites. But we all know that it's not going to taste exactly like the Whopper. But I think Burger King did a good job here. Even though if the patty didn't taste exactly like meat, it's not really Burger King's fault. They just put the patty on their own Whopper. So it's not really their fault. But I think the Impossible brand, they did a very good job with this patty. Even though the texture may be a little different than regular beef, it is a little, it's a little stiffer, it's a little chewier, it's not as crumbly as, as regular beef. But the flavor, on point, that iconic flame grill flavor from Burger King definitely stands out. You get that 100%. And then all the regular uh, toppings you get from a Whopper. Can't go wrong with any of those, except maybe too much mayonnaise, but they put the right amount this time, so good job there. Overall, it's a really good burger. I definitely probably will go and get this again. Because I do like eating some of those vegan, uh, meat-friendly options. Not because I'm vegan, just because I like how they taste. And this is definitely one of the better meat-free options that I've tried. So I'm going to eat a few more bites, and we'll give it a rating. And I think, you know, this one's going to be uh, pretty high up there too, so... All right, so now to give it a rating on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give Burger King's Impossible Whopper a solid 8 out of 10. Now, coming into this, I had heard a few things that it was kind of dry, didn't taste that good, but I personally enjoyed it. To me, the Whopper is usually a 7 out of 10, 7 or an 8 out of 10, depending how I feel that day, but this is definitely nothing short of what you would expect from Burger King. It almost tastes exactly like the regular Whopper, except... A little different but it is definitely worth trying if you want to try something a little different if you want to try one of those meatless options it's definitely one of the better ones in my opinion but that's how I feel about this sandwich did you try it do you not want to try it just let me know in the comments section below so as always thanks for watching and if you like this video make sure to hit that like button and if you're new here and are not subscribed yet make sure to hit that subscribe button that's it for me and I will see you guys next time on my next video Connor out